Hello again, Graham Cox from uh, Moody Views. One of the things I'm asked uh, most of all is, is how I get these trees to look uh, uh, so realistic. So um, I thought to, today we'd have a go and uh, do another one over here to, uh, to match the one over there to try and show you how I achieve the, uh, this effect. Uh, with a tree it's, it's three-dimensional. You've got the, the height and the width but the one thing a lot of people struggle with is the depth, the distance from the front of the tree to the back. And the foliage that's on the back of the tree, you would be looking at the underside or the bottom side, the shadow side of that foliage, so it would all be dark. And this is the, uh, the way that you can get the tree to look more three-dimensional, is by putting the dark foliage in on the back of the tree, and then you can put these trunks and branches in front of it, which, which gives it that, uh, this effect. So the way I achieve this, this dark in the background, is, uh, is a, a new way I've come up with. Uh, I'm going to use a piece of natural sponge and a uh, permanent marker, permanent ink marker, with a very large nib. So what I'm going to do with this is uh, really get uh, plenty of black into and onto this bit of natural sponge here. If you've got a new piece of sponge, it does take a a little while to get it loaded up. But the thing about this uh, this permanent ink, it dries almost instantly. So as soon as you've got it on, on the sponge, you've got to get straight in, straight in there with it. And keep loading it up, keep going back to it. The sunlight is coming in from the top right, so the, the left hand sides are, are the shadow sides, the darker sides. I want plenty of dark down in the bottom here, load it up and get it straight in there. <clears throat> and notice also I've left some holes through the middle there. Okay, that's done. That dries instantly. So we haven't got to wait for anything to dry now. We can get straight in with the with the pastel and start to put the uh, the foliage colours on the tree. So I'm going to start first of all with uh, with a lovely dark, a uh, darkish green. This is uh, additional 51. Sorry, additional 49. Nice dark, and I'm using the flat end, that lovely flat area there. Uh, not pressing hard, just let that deposit some colour onto the tooth of this lovely Hahnemuller paper. This is the Hahnemuller Lana Colours, 160 gram pastel paper on the smoother side. The other side is not really rougher, it's just that the texture is more spaced. And I, I find you don't get a smoother finish on the other side. So this, that's the first uh, area of colour gone in, uh, a lovely dark. I'm now going to go to um, a mid-green. And I'm going to use the, uh, the new Caran d'Ache pastel pencils to do this, to start this off. I'm going to start off with the, the dark green, 719, and just on the outside edges, just twiddle that around in some little circles. And we're trying now to pick out separate areas of foliage that are separated by the darks. So We've got a bit of light, lighter green here, dark there, then lighter green, dark underneath, and each one is separated by a dark, so we don't end up with that green lollipop effect. Just twiddling it around on the outside edges. And using the, the pencils in this way, rather than the actual pastels, Again, we don't fill the tooth of the paper up too quickly. We want plenty of, uh, of tooth or texture there to, to get all the lovely bright greens onto the, uh, onto the picture. The next colour I'm going to use is 229, which is a, a lighter green again. And I'm going to start just on the outside edges of the previous colour. And this... Uh, 
what will start to happen now is the, the pencil will start to pick up some of the colours that are underneath. So in order to sort of keep cleaning it, I'm turning it or twisting it as I'm, uh, as I'm using it. Starting to press fairly hard now to get this colour to, to take. Remember, and the light is coming down in this direction, so it's just catching the tops of the foliage there as it's coming in. And I'm now going to go to the 017, a more olive green. Again, just on the top edges, little circles, little twiddles, try and catch the light on those top edges. This is now where it will start to come to light as, the, as these brighter greens uh, show up against the darker green that we put in first of all. In order to show light you need dark. So I'm now going to go in and put the, um, the lovely branches and trunks into that. And this will start to uh, pull things together now. Just uh, there we go. That's the one I wanted. So I'm going to start off with a with a nice bit of uh, pale pink. This is a uh, dark flesh colour, seven four one, and I want to show this up against that foliage that's behind it. I'm going to put it in light against dark. And then I'm going to switch to the uh, to the black carry those on up through to the top there just giving that pencil a little twist as I go a bit of dark on the shadow side there under that foliage branches sticking out the sides as well. They don't all have foliage on. And then uh, just to tidy that up and finish it off we'll just uh, put a little highlight up there. The uh, we've got some black down here from the from the ink and the natural sponge. Again we can just run over that now just to tidy that up so I'm going to take a lovely pale green and just tidy that up and I'm going to put a little bit of black just in here this would all be shadow and I just give that a gentle little blend with the fingertip smudge that shadow into the ground that just gives the tree that uh, that look now that it's growing out of it rather than stuck on like a stamp A little blend with a fingertip and then I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that colour that lovely bright green just onto the onto the foliage here so what I'm going to do I've just rubbed the, the edge of the pastel onto the uh, corner of the paper down here just to clean it I've got a nice clean flat area of colour so this area here this nice clean bit turn it over put it completely flat onto the paper very gentle, very light touch, just give it a little touch on there and fraction of movement and lift it off. And you'll see it starts to pick up the darker colour. But it's a tiny movement, very, very light touch. We just want to deposit a small amount of colour just on the, the tooth of the paper. That's what's, that's what's happening here. The tooth of the paper is just picking up that little bit of colour and just gives the tree those lovely highlights, those lovely bright bits that sparkle in the uh, in the sunshine. And we just bring that colour, a uh, little bit of distant uh, pale green colour in the background there. Bring that out. 
through there. That's coming out from behind the tree, of course, which will also help. So there you go, that's how it's done. A little bit of uh, natural sponge and uh, a permanent ink marker. You've got to be careful you don't get that on your clothes, of course. Uh, all the materials I've used here, the pastels, the paper, the current ash pencils, all of it is um, available through the Moody Views website www.moodyviews.co.uk and uh, I wish you happy painting. Thank you.